Okay. So, what are you on about? What What is this all about? But they say there is no subsidy that only few people were taking the money. Well, the few people that are taking the money, they describe them as Kaba. Yeah. Now it is the job of the government, not the job of the masses, to go and break the Kaba. So we are ordering the government to go and find the Kaba instead of bring the Kaba. So you are saying that the government should bring out the Kaba rather than yeah, punish everybody. Break the Kaba and stop the Kaba. Thank you very much. You very but you are doing this at risk to your life. Are you not afraid? Well, Thank you very much. Thank Do you want to say your name? You don't have to say it if you want. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, Let, is that a comrade? Okay, I just, let's assume I just seen people standing on the road. What are you about? The people, the people are saying no to the removal of subsidies. But the government said there's no subsidy. Eh? The government says there's no subsidy. But which one are they removing? Do you? They oh. said they are removing subsidies. It is not only about subsidy. This is the government that says you cannot pay 18,000 and minimum wage. Okay. And they are saying they are removing subsidy. And between me and you, we know from inception there is no any subsidy in that fuel, in that uh, uh, premium uh, motor split, that BMS. Okay. A barrel of crude oil is sold at $90. Okay. And by the time it's refined and everything, it's supposed to be sold at the rate of 34 naira in Nigeria. Yet they are selling it 65 naira. Now they are come with the agenda. There is discussion going on. Jonathan insists that he is going to increase the weapon point. And he went ahead on the 1st of January. To welcome us to the new year. To welcome us to the new year to a new hardship. And okay. Nigerians are saying no. It's time for revolution. We call for revolution. We call on all Nigerians. Both home and diaspora. That is time to save our people. But Nigeria is so, Nigerians are suffering in the midst of plenty. We are tired of this less than 1% of Nigerians. They are dictating the affairs of uh, Nigeria Masses. Jonathan is not by friend. To our surprise, uh, Lamido Sanusi said it in the open that he don't know how much they are selling for. Yet yeah, he's calling for deregulation. It's a slap on our collective on our collective struggle. If he has known how much they are selling for, he will not have it. Better for him to call for deregulation. Okay. Or to call for no removal of something. Now they have to regulate. Because they are not buying for. The for they use was paid. The enemies have come, they have gas. We are ready, it's total battle. It's fight to finish. Are you not afraid that people will abandon you alone? Because only very few people are here. Yeah. You see the rest of us are there yeah. and the rest of you are in front. Are you not afraid that, that we'll run and leave you? That is how it's supposed that is how it used to be. Mm. In the June 12 struggle, we are on the field. Okay. In the campaign for democracy, we are on the field. Okay. When we are doing a bachelor motto, that's the way we are. We have traitors, we have betrayers. So those who are looking the onlookers. The, the only look at the other a traitor or betrayer. So we have count them to be either betrayer or a traitor. How do you think this our thing will stop so that we don't have to come out next year? Well, the only solution to it is let Nigerians, all Nigerians, reject this anti-people policy. We vote them in. They promise.